Hello there again. I'm about to test the monitor for the first time. I just cleaned it up and, and put all the plugs and wires back to in its position. Uh, it all looks good. It's just a little bit cleaner than it was before. Didn't find anything wrong with it. Let's try and power it on. And we can see the monitor, we can see the front, and we can maybe check the back a little bit. Let's see if we <laughs> see any sparks flying. Right. Power. I'm gonna turn it on. We hear a zoom, a light zoom. The zooming sound is so faint. I can't pick it up with my microphone. We're hearing this weird sound when we turn it on. The LED doesn't go on either now. Here I try it again. There's a faint zooming sound. Take it from me, you can't hear it. This zooming sound coming from the, the, the tube. And when I turn it off, it goes Bzz. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time and then in the dark let's see what's if you can see something going on. Okay, let's go. The light we're seeing here is the back of the tube. This is where the electrodes enter the tube and head for the grid to bounce off and, and create a light on the tube. There's no signal coming from the cable since we haven't connected anything. We don't see anything on the tube. This is an old monitor, so it doesn't have its own display menu. But it's zooming like crazy. Hey. The LED burns, but it's very faint. Let's turn it off. I don't know what's going on. Yesterday I tested the monitor without a computer and it didn't do anything. Well, of course, because it's an old monitor, it doesn't even give a, a signal on the, the monitor that says no display or whatever. No signal. Now we're gonna turn it on the computer and see what happens. The key, the monitor is already on. So, and wow, it's back online. I'm so happy. I just cleaned it, nothing more. It only makes this brittling noise. It probably was the, uh, the rubber thingy there. <laughs> I'm not gonna get close. It's, it's probably not discharging pretty well. So you can probably hear the sound. It's coming from this. So it's probably still uh, charged a little bit. It, it, but anyway, it works with my old 386. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I was expecting the worst. Last time I, I tried it, it didn't do anything. Just cleaned it up and this is the result. What a bit of cleaning and and disconnecting and reconnecting can do. I forgot to shoot the inside of the clean monitor. I only have this picture here where you can see it on the right. For cleaning the case, I used a multi purpose cleaner with a small toothbrush, just kept brushing, and you could remove a lot of those dark stains, and it got back to its original color quite good. Not fully, but it's it's not important, it's the inside, so. But I removed most of the spots. I'm gonna close up uh, the, the monitor, cause it's, it's, it's ready for action again. So, very simple, slide it in. So, well, noise. This.
done. I missed a little spot here, so I'm gonna clean this. We had a mouse stuck to the side of this monitor in a mouse holder. It leaves a nasty sticker mark and we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna clean it and rub it off. Well, clean it with some multi-cleaner. And yeah, sides of the monitor are very nice. Clean the front, do a nice screen again. I hope I can use it for some long years to come because it was in my garage for years doing nothing and now I got some nice functions for it. That's cool. The Samtron. I really like it. To end this video I'm going to show some video game footage to show that it really is working. I'm happy my monitor is fixed again and Thank you for watching my video. Yeah.